Hi guys, welcome to another Chamo Valley Maths tutorial. Mr. Gordon here. I'm going to be looking at the AQA Level 3 in Mathematical Studies papers from 2016, the actual exam papers. Um, this qualification is better known as Core Maths, so there's a Core Math support program. If you're, if you're studying this course, you can go to their website, which is up here. Um, I've left the address at the top. And you can also follow them on Twitter and Facebook for any support needs that you may have. Okay, so let's have a look at question six from paper one. This is the income tax and national insurance question. Um, you need to use the uh, extra material that you have. So you're gonna use the national insurance table and the income tax table in this question. Um, let's have a look at the problem and try and highlight some of the key points. So Beth has an annual salary of 39,500 in her current job. Her monthly net pay, so after tax, is £2,495.64p. She wants to apply for a new job. The salary for the new job is £43,500. She will have to pay an extra £150 a month on travel to get to her new job. And her personal tax allowance is £10,600. This is the amount of money she can earn free of charge without any tax being applied to it. I should say income tax being applied to it. So um, she says, the increase in my net pay will be more than the increase in my travel costs. So she's saying basically that the extra money that she earns from moving to the new job will cover the travel costs. So she'll have a bit more money even though she's paying extra travel. So we've got to work out, is that true or not? Okay, so what I've done in this green box here, I've summarized the key points that we highlighted from the previous page. So the new wage is 43,500. She has to pay 150 pounds um, for her travel a month and her personal allowance is 10,600. So this is the amount of her wage that we can't apply tax to. So to work out um, how much money she earns, we've got to take off her tax, her income tax. So let's look at our table that helps us work out income tax. Now the table is for taxable income only. So we need to work out how much of her wage can we apply tax to. We can't apply tax to the whole amount because she gets 10,600 free. So we need to work out the difference between them. So let's do um, 43,500 minus the 10,600 and that will give us how much income we can apply tax to. So let's do it on the calculator. Now, as you can see, I've already typed it in. So if you do that sum, 43,500 minus 10,600, uh, you get 32,900. So let's put that in the box to keep that there to remind us. So we, we don't pay the same amount of tax um, on all of that wage. We pay it in different bands, and I've tried to highlight them here. So the yellow band is the 20% uh, rate, and that goes from 0 to £31,785. Now, as you can see, we earn slightly more than that. So we actually, work, we, we've got money that goes all the way through that band. So we have to pay the full amount in that band, and some of our wage goes into the next band, which starts at, 31,786. So we're going to pay the full amount at 20%. So you would assume that you would just write down the difference between the two, and that would be 31,785 pounds. Now, I'm going to use one extra pound. I'm going to put one extra pound on that because I think there is a difference here between the top end of this band and the bottom end of the next band. Okay, there's a pound that's gone missing, really, isn't there? Because if you earn £31,785.99, p do you get taxed on that or not? I think the government would tax you. So I'm just going to put the um, lower limit of this band as the full amount. So I'm going to just put down £31,786 because I think the government would actually tax you all the way through. So that's the 20% bit done. You might want to use this 31785 The mark scheme doesn't mind which one you use. I've checked. So the next bit, how much of our wage is in the higher rate? How much of our wage goes over the £31,786 uh, lower limit here? Well, let's do our wage minus this lower limit here, and that will tell us how much is in the red section, the 40%. So the sum that we need to do 
is 32,900. Take away this lower limit here, and let's grab our calculator and do that. So 32,900 minus the lower limit for the high rate of tax, which is 31,786. That gives us 1,114 pounds. So let's put that in. This is how much we are going to get taxed at 40%. Okay, so this little bit of money here that we earn just in this band here, it gets taxed at 40% of that goes to the government. Okay, let's start working out how much tax we pay in each section. So what is the rate? We need to pay 20% of this amount here to the government. So the sum that we need to put to our calculator is that amount times 0.2. Now 0.2 is the decimal for 20%. So that 0.2 is the decimal for 20%. And if you type that into your calculator, it will give you £6,375.20p. That is the amount of tax from that band we need to pay. So that's 20%. Now the little bit that we earn slightly over into the 40% band, we need to find out what 40% of this is, and that goes to tax as well. So let's bring that one out. So we just do uh, 1,114 pounds times 0.4. Now 0.4 is the decimal version for 40%. If you want to find 40% of something, you multiply it by 0.4. And this is the amount that we need to pay. So I'm just going to put that next to the red section. So that's our how much we pay at 40%. All right then, so that's the tax band sorted out. We've paid our tax. Now how much is that in total? We better work, work out our total tax. So let's add those together. So let's move this slightly to the right here. Let's add that up to get our total tax. So we've got £6,375.20p plus uh, £445.60. So the total tax that we pay, let's get it into um, a decimal, this is money, is £6,820.80p. That's for our income tax. So there we go. That is our income tax that we have to pay. Now let's go and work out our national insurance. Okay, so having worked out her um, income tax, we've got to work out how much national insurance she's paying when she moves to her new job. So just a reminder, the new wage is 43500 and we've got to use this figure here and apply it to the, um, the national insurance table, which again is in the extra information that you get given in the exam. And the table can be quite confusing. Now, because I'm using the whole wage for the year, you don't have to do it the same way as me, but if you are doing it the way that I would do it, then we only really want to use the uh, last two columns here, because these this is the yearly section. All right, so there are other sections. If you're working with a monthly wage, you use the middle two and the weekly wage um, you would just use the first two. So I'm only looking at these two sections of the table. And again, it's very similar to the income tax layout. You've got to work out how much tax you're paying through each band. So there's a 0% band here, which we don't have to worry about. We're not paying anything there. And there's a 12% band, which goes between um, £8,064 and 42385 So our wage again is slightly above that so we, we are paying all the way through that okay so and in the in the previous table i added on extra pound because the, the the end of one column didn't match up with the start of the next but in this table it does match up so i'm not going to do that this time i'm simply going to work out the difference between the upper and the lower limit so i'm going to do this sum on my calculator to see how much um, of my wage is being taken at 12%. All right, so let's get the calculator up. Let's do this. So 42,385 minus the lower limit, which is um, 8,064. So we are paying 34,000. Sorry, we're not paying that. This is the amount that is going to be taxed at 12%. So the £34,321 of our wage, let me get that number and put it in the, the yellow section, that's how much of our wage packet is being taxed at 12%. So we're going to work out 12% of that in a second. Let's just work out how much of our wage goes into the uh, 
the 2% bracket. So the 2% is just uh, anything above 42,385. Now we are slightly above that. If we do the difference between our wage and that number there, it will tell me how much um, of my wage is going to be charged at 2%. So again, finding the difference, just subtract one from the other. If we do that on a calculator, then the difference is going to be, um, let's just find that out, hold on a second. So clear that, what are we doing? 43,500 uh, minus the 42,385, which is the start of the 2% income tax range. So that leaves us with, let's uh, work out what that is, £1,115, that's how much we are going to pay at 2%. So let's start working out how much tax we actually pay at these different rates. Okay, so let's work out 12% of this in the yellow band and 2% um, of that in the red band. So what we need to do is we need to um, use our multipliers again, our decimal version. So 12% is 0.12, so we times the amount by the 12% decimal. And if we do that on the calculator, let's have a look, see what we get. So just type it in, 34,321 times 12%, uh, so 0.12. That equals, again, we want it in money, so fractions are not very good here, not very helpful. 4,118 pounds and 52p. So let me try and fill that in. Let's put that next to... Um, that amount there. So there we go. That's the amount that we're paying at 12%. Now we've got to pay a little bit at 2%. So let's work out what 2% is. Times the amount by the decimal for 2%, which is 0 0.02. So again, grab the calculator. Let's clear that. So £1,115 times 0 0.02. Be careful not to put 0 0.2. That's 20%. We want 2%. So it won't be much. Uh, that's going to be £22.30, that's how much we're paying, so let's put that in, £22.30, try and line that up a bit. So, this is our different amounts at, at, in the different bands, we need to work out the total national insurance, so just add those two together. So if we add those two together, I'm just going to add on 4118 to my previous answer, which was £23, £22.30, sorry. So the total is £4,140.82p. So let's pop that in. Okay, so that's the, the total national insurance deductions from our yearly wage. Let's work out um, the total deductions and see if she was right in her claim. Okay, so let's just have a little check-in with the question, just so we can uh, summarise what we've been doing. So we were checking out how much um, tax she needed to pay when she starts her new job, and we did that. That was the, uh, the amount that we worked out, £6,820 ADP. And then we also worked out the national insurance deductions that she would have to pay on her new wage, and that was £4,140.82p. So travel costs. The question mentioned something about um, she has to pay some extra money, £150 a month, in travel, when she starts her new job. Now obviously we are working out her total deductions for the whole year. So let's just quickly check what would that be if she paid £150 over 12 months. So times it by 12, that's £1,800, 1800 So that's going to be our travel expenses for the year. So travel expenses, um, let's work out the total deductions. That's everything, tax, national insurance, and travel costs. Let's add that up and we'll know about all the money that we have to sort of give to tax and deductions um, to get a grand total. Let me type this in. £6,820.80p and plus the, the £4,140.82 um, plus travel which was 1800 So altogether She's got to pay £12,761.62p and in tax and travel for the new job. So let me just make a note of that so we don't forget. 
that's her total deductions. So to work out her net pay, and I, I, I've called it net pay, but what it really is, it's um, her, her net pay minus her travel, because net pay is just when you take your, sort of your, your tax off. But we're also gonna take off the travel as well. So maybe you shouldn't have called this net pay. But anyway, let's take um, the total deductions away from the wage, the maximum wage, sorry, the total wage. So 43,500 minus the stuff that we have to sort of get rid of, which is 12,761 pounds and 62p. Okay, right, so. This is our money that we are left with after we've done that. So let me just put that in, pop that in there. Okay, so it's, that's our money that we need to compare with the value that she was talking about from our old job. Now she says that when you include the travel, um, her monthly pay will be better than the old monthly pay. Now the old monthly pay is there. So what would our, her new monthly pay be? Well, we need to take this value and divide it by 12 because we've done that for the year. So dividing by 12 um, will give us, okay, so she earns 2,561 pounds and 53 pence in the new job. So let's put that there for comparison. All right, so there it is, that's the monthly pay. Now, you obviously, you can see that it is more. And she says, the increase in my net pay will be more than the increase in my travel costs. So yes, she is gonna earn more when you even when you even include her travel costs. How much more? Because we might wanna write something at the end just to show the examiner that we, we know what we're talking about and we understand the calculation. So if you find the difference between the two uh, values, so we do that one, subtract that one, it'll give us the total amount, so let's just quickly do that and, and see what we get. So um, there's the uh, the new monthly pay. Let's subtract the old one. Now I'm gonna to have to move that calculator because I can't remember what the value was. 2,495 pounds and 64p. So overall, it looks like we, are, we have an extra 65 pounds, 89p. So 66 pounds roughly if we're rounding up to the nearest pounds. So we can say, okay, she is earning um, 66 pounds uh, more to the nearest, the nearest pound. Okay, so hopefully that's uh, giving you an idea of how to tackle that question. Um, what I will say is if you check the mark scheme, some of the, my answer doesn't actually match the, uh, the mark scheme exactly. So and I've been checking this for you know, quite a while in depth, and I think I've noticed where it's gone wrong. So if you're teaching this, or if you're learning this, and you have the mark scheme next to you, and you think, well, this doesn't match up with what the mark scheme says, the mark scheme agrees with me with these two figures here. So you've got the £445.60 from an earlier calculation, plus the uh, this is when you're doing the um, income tax. So the two income taxes added together gave you a total of and they've put £6,802.8p. and All right, so, I mean, I've tried. I've, the calculator does not agree with that. It thinks it should be £6,820. So I reckon they've just swapped the zero and the two over by mistake in the mark scheme because it doesn't add up even when they've been using the calculator or doing it by hand. So the mark scheme says an extra £67 extra. All right, and mine came out at £66. I know it's a small thing, but I just wanted to make sure that um, you feel confident with these videos and uh, they are accurate. I hope that's been helpful. Um, please keep checking the channel because there's gonna be more of these coming out soon.